Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with one of the best tanks in the game in my opinion. One of the strongest tanks in the game and it would be Škoda T56, the tank you, which you could get if you are up for gambling in the loot boxes. Uh, but I hope for gaming is going to sell that tank one day. For me... Uh, I must admit, fellas, I do not understand um, what kind of gentlemen are working and responsible for a balance uh, um, in this game when in one hand we have Škoda and in the other hand we have the Tornwagen. I truly do not know uh, um, how they are balancing the game, fellas. And I want to be honest with you, I want to say it is, it is total crap what we are seeing here, but... Anyways, instead of whining too much, how about we will go into the game with a Škoda T-56 and we will try to make this vehicle work. Um, the tank overall has very good combination of the things. Respectable armor, okay speed, two in the magazine, you have a chance and ability to do, to do uh, over 900 damage uh, each clip. It is nuts. Um, skill, what is the weakness of this tank? The weakness of this tank is trollish gun um, and the weakness of this tank is lack of the penetration. So that's why you are going to see a lot of people playing with a Škoda T-56 uh, with a full gold on and they are not thinking about anything else. Now, take a look at this. The standard penetration, actually we need to wait 8 more seconds and you will see everything yourself. This is a weakness of the tank and you supposed to spawn the full gold. I know it sounds weird and bad and everything, but it's just how it goes. So standard penetration is 208. That's not great, fellas. Truly, 208 as a heavy tank, yeah, it is eh. Gold penetration, 248. It is also not excellent. It is also not epic. But once again, what this tank is capable of is beyond insanity. Honestly, I don't really think we have... Uh, um, any other tank which can burst a um, thousand damage in like three and a half seconds. Yeah, probably we have Borat, obviously, and Borat is a bit different uh, vehicle overall. Um, but as a heavy tank, obviously, we have some autoloaders, for example, some one, right, and so on, so on. But uh, it is a bit different type of the tank, don't you think so, boys? We. Don't you think so, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen? Um, because with this vehicle, you can actually hold the heavy flank. You can go into the heavy flank and you can try uh, to play there. And what do I mean by trying? You can play there. That's very important thing to say. And if you are connecting your shots, oh boys, oh boys, this is very, very strong vehicle. Anyways, um, enough of rambling. How about we are going to focus on the game at this point? What do you think? Meanwhile, we have Renee. If Renee will pick, Renee will take one for the team. I do not really mind to get stunned here. I am feeling alright. And I don't really think I need to be too aggressive in this situation. I honestly don't think it's worth it. Hmm. Do I want to make pressure somehow? This is the question. Do I want to make pressure somehow? And once again, keep this in mind how we are going to do the things. We are going to be uh, relatively um, passive uh, in this game and we are not going to uh, fire many gold rounds unless we actually need to, right? It is very, very important thing to say because I'm telling you, fellas, and I need to highlight this. Um, this tank with a full gold spam is so much more powerful, okay? This tank is way, way, way more powerful with a full gold spam. Trust me on this one. What I want to do, I want to say hello for um, René. And believe me, he won't enjoy this. You don't believe in me? Watch this. One. Two. <clears throat> it is a tier 8 tank we are playing with. It is a tier A tank, fellas. Tier A tank. 430 into the 500. That's what I am saying when I'm saying this tank is extremely powerful and this tank is nuts, right? Um, I don't know what otherwise I could say about this. It is very, very strong vehicle, fellas. It truly is. 
Obviously, I'm trying to clip the ML out. Unfortunately, I failed, but that's okay. He fired it two times already. So what that means, that means he's on the reload currently. And we can over push this side. This is the time when we want to go and push this side. Um, we will reload quicker than this gentleman will. And now we need to be prepared for Skoda invasion if Skoda will try to make pressure like this. And oh boy, he will. Hello there. Trying to aim for a track, unfortunately missing the shot, that's fine. Luckily we have autoloader and autoloader is obviously helping for us. Now I'm going to take the chance to reload for obvious reasons and we are going to go for Love. Love is the next victim in 10 seconds. This is absolutely insanity. What this tank is, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this is uh, this tank is highlighting everything what is wrong with the game currently, in a way, right? And I am not afraid to say so, you know, this tank could be easily a tier 9 if our gaming would add a bit more penetration. That's about it. Uh, I mean, period. This tank can be tier 9 if our gaming is adding more penetration to this vehicle. This is, this is truly nuts and when this tank came into the game I said that uh, um, pretty much instantly this tank is very very powerful and it's one of the most powerful tanks in, in the game, right? I said that. And I do not uh, change my opinion, I, I don't change my opinion whatsoever my friends, I truly don't. I mean TVP Watu for example, he's running for his life, he's not looking back, he's not looking anywhere, he's running for his life because he knows, if I'm going to reach the him, he is, he's doomed, he's doomed it is going to be game over for him, that's what this gentleman knows, right, it's okay, first bounce doesn't really matter and he is dead, nice. So far, so good. We still have a lot of time to play this battle, fellas, and we still can improve our game. When I am playing with a tank like this, I am happy with a 4,000 combined score, right? I am happy with a 4,000. But you know what is a um, funny fact? I am happy with a 4,000 with a tier 10 as well. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want to say, fellas. And this is this is crazy, fellas. But this is World of Tanks in 20, um, 2021. This is how it looks like. I mean, look at this poor soul. Look at this poor soul, boys and, uh, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. 440 into the 540. It is a tier 8 tank we are talking about, boys. It is a tier 8. It's not a tier 10. It's tier 8. And now you might think, but skill, what to do whenever you are playing against the tier 10s? Hopefully we will get much making against the tier 10s as well. I really want to show you uh, it is not a game over if you are having much making like this as well, right? Um, it is truly worth to highlight. Easy, fellas. We have a beautiful gentleman close to us. I can see from his eyes he is baboon. And he is very, very beautiful baboon. Now look, uh, there is a chance we are going to see this waza. Let's see. Can we spot him or we cannot spot him? There is a bush where tank destroyers loves to sit and yep, here we are. Look at this. Look at this, what this tank is capable of. Absolutely insanity. Absolutely insanity, my friends. Nuts. Okay, relax, take it easy. I know about enemy art. I don't give a flying F about enemy art as well. He's thinking how to beat the living crap out of me. He managed to find the shot. It's not changing anything because he's reloading for three days, three nights. And officially he is dead. Beautiful. All we need to do at this point, at this point, we need to find the clicker and we need to send him to the hell. That's all we need to do. Uh, call me dirty fellas, uh, but this is, this is good. This is pretty good. And this is the main reason why I am rating this tank in epic category or legendary category or however you would, however you would call this, okay? Uh, this is the main reason and the main highlight of the Skoda. Still can you have a bad game in Skoda? Sure thing you can. You can have bad game in 279E or Chieftain or anything else, right? Um, just how the, it goes. Anyways, 
Where is the clicker? Jeff! Jeff! And now I am trying to compare this vehicle against the Torn Wagon, which I played recently a lot and that tank made me cry. Um, it is like a day and night, okay? Speaking about difference. It is like a bloody day and a night. And this is very important thing to highlight. Anyways, where is the Jeff? Jeff is here in front and we are smacking him in the face because we have 460 alpha damage. 460 alpha damage. So let's cap this battle out. What happened? Uh, we did not fire a single gold round and once again this tank is more powerful uh, powerful while spamming gold and I believe you can meet a lot of a lot of Skodas which have only gold loaded. Uh, we got over 4000 damage, we have quite a bit of assisting damage, we have a high caliber obviously um, and we made... Uh, Peasant 230,000 profits, although uh, we did not have boosters available, Aka, um, Aka credit booster like this, because a lot of people got them over time, unless you are a new player then you don't have many of those, right, so yeah, that's about it, anyways, let's go for other game with a Škoda, shall we? And yeah, this is what this tank is capable of. I really wanted to highlight this for you, we have a tier 10 matchmaking, great, now look, Whenever you are having a tier 10 matchmaking, you don't need to panic that much. You don't need to be super aggressive with this vehicle and to, you know, let your mouse to chill on the corner and you go in front. No, 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 no. You, you need to be uh, smart, okay? You need to be smart, fellas. That's how you need to play the game with this vehicle. So, what do we have? Um, once again, I am not going to go uh, with a full gold spam, but overall in this situation, probably I should click like this and to have full gold gold spam. I'm not going to do that. I want to show you it's possible to play with this vehicle in the budget way as well, unless I will know I will fight against whatever, motion. For motion I will load gold, right? For example, this is how I play the game and this is the most interesting way to play the game for me. Um, is the game easier whenever you are loading the full gold? Are you going to be more successful usually? Yes, sure. I think uh, the full gold spam can average between one to two more shots per battle. That's pretty much the difference. That's pretty much the difference, fellas. So look at this. Medium tanks. Meow. Now. Meow. Good. I am feeling alright. I do not want to um, reload yet. It is not the time yet. Or though. Hi. Unfortunately, we missed the shot to the Prime of Victoria. That's fine. Relax. Take it easy. We have all time in the world of tanks. We don't need to panic, fellas. At this point, I am going to relocate to the heavy line here. By relocating to the heavy line here, I will wait until enemies will try to be a bit more involved. And if they will try to be uh, more aggressive, I will have some support from the back. So with this tank you don't really want to be alone unless uh, this is only one option how you can save the game or how you can clip someone out, right? But other than that, obviously you do not want to play alone with this vehicle. So look, even though the start is not great, even though we are playing against the tier 10s, I am still kind of in front if you know what I mean. I am not hiding that much, but we have very, very overpowered and broken position in a way. So all we need to do, we need to wait until enemies will mess up and eventually they will. It is matter of the time whenever enemies will try to be aggressive for us and whenever they will try to be aggressive we are going to say hello. This is how it looks like. So for example you see it is a tier 10 tank fellas. It is a tier 10 tank which is going for us. And I'm not afraid of the tier 10 tank. I'm clipping him like there is no tomorrow. I am showing dominance over the tier 10 tank. I am playing with a tier 8. And not a typical tier 10 tank. It's TVP. It has better burst fire than I do. And I have zero Fs given. I am like, what's up? What's up, buddy? What's up? How do you like my, uh, my tank in the tier 10? Yeah, this is what this tank is capable of, fellas. And I truly want to highlight this and I want to um, showcase how to play with this tank as well.
Mm. <coughs> well, we can make pressure. Up, up. That's fine. I want to show we can make pressure and let's do this. Especially if this was a will go on the reload. Yep, he's on the reload. Divide, 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 divide. Fellas, he's on the reload. I repeat, fellas, he's on the reload. Fellas, he is on the reload. M, 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 M. Oh, he has single shooter gun. Okay, that explains things. That's that explains things. Doesn't really matter. He is getting banged now. Uh, probably that means this gentleman is stopped. Either way, everything is fine. Our board is on the reload. We are on the reload. 10 seconds left and this guy is going to die. He's going for me, which is not necessarily a bad idea for him, obviously. And now we are going to eliminate him from the game just like so. Beautiful. Very, very nice. And that's what we have. Now, look. Keep this in mind. We are playing... Uh, greetings. We are playing against the tier 10s and we, we are pretty damn aggressive without spamming gold. With spamming bo gold, I would penetrate this was a 55 like there is no tomorrow. You see, this is the thing. It is very, very important thing to say, fellas. It truly is. So, yeah, this is what this tank is capable of. Once again, score is not epic. 2000 damage dealt is not a great score. Uh, but once again, let's think about the current game, uh, 11 to 3. Let's think about matchmaking. We were, uh, reason, uh, we were uh, pretty much leading the charge as well. Uh, this is not so simple as I would love to say it is, but it worked out just great for us. It truly did. Now look, if the things will go well, there is a chance we are going to smack this dead de fede once or twice. If the things will go well. No. I'm trying to retreat a bit. No, dear de Fede, can you make a mistake, pretty please? No? No mistakes from dear de Fede's side. Oh well, hashtag never lucky. Still, nevertheless, I am happy with my performance. I think we did a pretty good job, so no complaints, no regrets from my side. Um, for a last game, I think it would be fair to show what this tank is capable with a full gold. Um, do you think it's fair, fellas? I think it is. Uh, and keep this in mind, I'm not playing with the best setup with this tank, like bond equipment, which is making tank way better and so on, so on. It is also worth to highlight. We are sixth, if I'm not mistaken, actually seventh by the damage. We are third by experience. We made 76,000 um, profits, but now this is a worth thing to highlight we fired seven times we hit six we penetrated four with a gold it would be so much better and it would be um we would play so much powerful in a way right let's go for one more game uh but in this game i think uh, we are uh, we are fine to spam the full gold especially in the tier 10 matchmaking and as you can see we have a tier 10 matchmaking here so let's go with a bit tweaked setup right why the heck not it is a showcase of the Skoda either way. So, what do we have? We have Redshire winning spawn. We are having the tier 10 matchmaking. Um, so, everything should work very, very well for us. Um, by any means, I am going in the heavy line for obvious reasons. And I believe we are going to get enough use from here. At least I hope so. And this is the setup which uh, majority of the Skoda players will have. You know, full gold, full uh, big consumables and everything. Uh, the thing is, nowadays... Uh, especially if you bought some Christmas boxes for yourself, not I recommend to buy them, you know, it's up to you where you are putting your money. Um, but I'm speaking about those guys who has the, uh, who has the um, Christmas atmosphere up to 30% credit boosters, who has their own boosters, who are in the clan, so they are getting 30% more boosters, and if you are playing in Platoon, it is nuts. You can get 400,000 profits uh, if you are having an epic game or 3,000 profits if you have a good game. So yeah, grinding credits nowadays, it is not that hard, fellas. Believe me, it isn't. It is not that hard. So that's why people can afford to spam the gold left, right and center. 
and they still can break even or I suppose to say make credits in the same time, right? Now this is important position to show or to say. If you are knocking this tree down, this tree is behaving like a camo for you. And what is happening, you are able to spot enemies whenever they are going up. Skill, what is happening when enemies are going up? Well, you see, answer is very simple. They are getting spotted and they are getting farmed by our sniper schnitzels who are playing here. Um, this is the main reason why this side, in my opinion, sucks so damn hard and why I am so uh, damn against this side. Meanwhile, we have Grille. Hi. How are you doing? Enjoying yourself? Uh, I am a tier 8 tank, Grille. Yeah, I'm, I'm a tier 8 tank. I hit you, I lit you on fire, I did 1000 damage in a period of 3.5 seconds. Yeah. I believe it is visible I love this tank and it is visible I uh, uh, I think this tank is one of the best tanks in the world of tanks uh, period in a way. Um, keep this in mind, I know how to play with autoloaders, I think I understand how this tank is looking like and how to play with this tank in the first place. At least I think I know how to do the things. Um, is it going to work for every single uh, person out there? I doubt it. Uh, not everyone knows how to play with the autoloaders and there is plenty of people who do not adore autoloaders and I do not blame you. Um, every single person has his own playstyle, right? Someone loves tank destroyers with uh, um, with all their heart and they cannot stand the heavy tanks and there is nothing wrong about it. Patience. We have all time in the world of tanks. All we need to do, we need to wait until enemies will decide to make a bit of pressure like this. That's all I'm waiting for. One tip, whenever you are playing in this side, you don't want to make pressure like this. You just do not want to make pressure like this. You want to play a bit safer, you want to chill, you want to relax, and you want to wait until enemies will mess up instead of messing up yourself. It is very important thing to say, because our Škoda decided to be aggressive. Skill, can you translate what will happen for a Škoda? Sure. He's going to take one for the team from the sniper schnitzels here, and no one can help him. It is just not good idea. If you want to make pressure like this you can always make pressure like this and you are going to be completely fine um, no one will be able to do anything for you this is the thing and it's very worth to highlight now the question is where enemy su 130 pm is uh, because if i need to bet where this gentleman is sitting at i would say he should sit here or alternatively here one out of two meanwhile enemies are thinking about making pressure that's good and this is exactly what i want to see fellas this is exactly what I want to see. There is no need for us to panic yet. Relax, take it easy. We still have some gentlemen who are sitting here and hopefully those guys will be able to um, get one or another shot. Now, Vaka decided to be aggressive. You know what that means? That means he's doomed. Now you might think, but skill, he has a good position. Yep, he has a very good position. And skill, what will happen for him now? Uh, what position we are talking about? Fellas, can you please explain me what position? What position this guy has? What? I I forgot. Could you... Fellas, could you please remind me what he's doing? Yeah, whenever is taking, someone is taking this position here, you can go in front and you can pretty much uh, outplay him in this way. And now, once again, we have a lot of a lot of time, so all we need to do, we need to return to the same position where we were playing before and we need to repeat the same thing. And we need to repeat the same thing, fellas. Škoda in the open here. Will he spot me? He's not spotting me. That's good. And now I am aiming for his cupola. One more. I know it's risky. Mm -hmm. Nothing what I can change about this. I missed his cupola and he hit me a couple of times. That's okay. My fault. That's greediness from my side. Um, and once again, you might miss shot or two with this tank. You cannot expect this vehicle to be uh, like the biggest and the best sniper schnitzel in the game because this tank is not created for this keep this in mind okay how about one more try to hit this uh, uh, Škoda our 
two five seven is shooting high explosives into this guy face i can understand that we have grilla who is supporting our team like this that's good how about if we would try to build the angle for mr um for mr Emil, we cannot see shit. Okay, that's fine. How about if we will go with a blind shots like this? There is a huge chance they have a sniper schnitzel in this typical position. Um, Su 130 p.m. Uh, can play here without bigger problems whatsoever. And once again, we want to look in front and we want to punish him if we have a possibility, right? Um, also, another chance for us how we can get a bit more use. We can try to blind fire this bush here because it is very, very common bush as well, right? Okay, that's fine. I shouldn't die. Good. We are going on the reload once again, and we are playing by the time, you know, we have a lot of time, there is no need for us to make any pressure whatsoever, plus our team has better spawn in my opinion. The biggest problem for our team was when we lost so many HP uh, from the heavy side, uh, the heavy which decided to go super aggressively, you know, that was the biggest problem. I was going for that killing blow, but this is not so easy to hit that cupola. I will try to do that once again, and this is also good highlight. We are fighting against the um, against the Skoda, and we are struggling. It is not so easy to penetrate this guy. It is not so easy to do damage for him, even though uh, we are shooting gold towers. This gentleman, right? It is not so simple. You can see that yourself. Okay, let's see. I want to get involved. And I want to ask, where is Sue? Let's ask, where is Sue? Maybe someone from our team knows this. Okay, so this gentleman is saying here. Okay, very, very nice. Now we know where Sue is. So our blind shot could actually um, be a successful hit. Very good, very good. Taking our time, crossing through the open field and trying to figure out what position do we want to take. This is the question, fellas. Which position do we want to take? Now our team is winning a bit. Good. Very good. I have an idea. I want to go like this, e even though this is very, very risky stuff, fellas. It is not so simple as you might think it is because of this Sue sitting here. Uh, I might take a humongous for the team. Okay, Sue relocated and their heavy is relocated as well. That's good to know. Very nice. So all we need to do, we need to keep making pressure like this. Hmm. Okay. Russia. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm telling you, this tank has quite a bit of armor as well. It's not like the tank which is made out of paper and you cannot do absolutely anything. Good. Another shot. Skill, you died. I don't give up flying F. This is a good game. We got 2.5 thousand damage, we have 1,000 assisting damage. It's not 4,000 I was dreaming about, but maybe we got one blind shot to the Sioux or something. Time will show absolutely everything, and for now, let's teleport into the end of this game. Let's go. And we are back, fellas, with a victory. Who could expect we are going to win from the winning spawn? I am very disappointed, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. I am truly disappointed. Here we go. That's what we have. Let's see. Do we have any blind shots? This is the question. We have, what, 2.5 uh, visible? Uh, it's 50-50. We might or we might not. We'll see. So, unfortunately, we do not. Shame. 2.5 thousand damage, 1,000 assisting damage. We are um, second by experience. We are third by the damage. We were spamming full gold in this game and we still uh, made quite a bit of profits even after uh, after spamming full gold. And this is end game result. Not the best session I have. I ever had with this tank, only 3.1 thousand damage and 500 assisting damage. I know it sounds quite weird, but this is very, very average for this tank. 
If you would pay attention at my average performance with this vehicle, I was doing 3.2 thousand damage and 500 assisting damage on average with this tank. So yeah, this session was in the weaker side and we still dealt uh, uh, very, very well. And I believe there is a lot of people who would be happy with this result with a tier 10 tank. So yeah, this is the thing, my friends. So yeah, Škoda T56. How do I rate this tank epic? Am I planning to change the rating on this tank? Absolutely not. I think it is one of the better tanks in the game. And I think uh, this tank describes uh, um, how, how the things are looking like in the world of tanks nowadays, especially when you are comparing this tank against this tank and both of the tanks are the same tier 8 vehicles just the score with this vehicle is uh, pretty much way 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 lower anyways boys and girls ladies and gentlemen thank you very much for watching i hope you had a great time and i hope you enjoyed yourself i want to thank for every single of you who are watching the streams watching the videos who are supporting us via clicking the join button and uh, for people who are becoming patrons just because of you we, we can do some things like uh, index page and everything we can keep the lights running and so on so thank you very much for everything and See you very very soon. Skill is out. Peace.